I'm Stephen Evans, Executive Director of PhotoFest, and it's our honor to present this exhibition, Fighting Ukrainian War Photographers. In the galleries here, we have over 250 images, reportage from the war that's happening right now. Fighting shows the incredible work of 16 Ukrainian photographers that are working, documenting the Russo-Ukrainian war. Their mission is to show what's happening, the realities of war, the terrible effects of it, also the resilience of a population that's working to preserve their sovereignty and their own resilience as image makers in difficult situations. PhotoFest has been committed historically to being a platform for socially conscious work. Co-founders Wendy Watrous and Frederick Baldwin have their roots in photojournalism and photo documentary work. They had both been practicing photojournalists and photo documentarians when they met in the 70s and then decided to pursue projects together. One of the things we wanted PhotoFest to be able to do when we founded it is to be able to show the world um, in different ways and in important ways about important issues that are happening. This exhibition falls in line with a long and rich history of PhotoFest presenting exhibitions that focus on some of the most complex and challenging issues taking place around the world today. It's my honor to welcome the Consul General of Ukraine in Houston, Vitaly Tarasuk, here to make some welcoming remarks. Mr. Tarasuk. Ukraine's fight is much bigger than its fight for just Ukraine's independence. Winning in this war for Ukraine is important not only for Ukraine, but for the rest of the world, because autocracies across the whole world are watching closely how the West reacts, how the West treasures democracy. Because democracy is something that has to be defended every time, everywhere. So that's why this exhibition is important. It gives you a bigger picture. Houston is home now, but my family is in Ukraine, my friends are in Ukraine, and I owe it to them to speak on their behalf here. It was earlier this week that we marked 600 days of the full-scale invasion. In the first days, weeks, since February 24th, 2022, the amount of images in the local media, TV, local, national channels was huge. And it slowly started decreasing and slowly started decreasing. Right now, I would say the coverage is almost absent. This exhibit reminds people, not just Ukrainians, but Americans, about the loss of life, the violation of national borders, and the threat to our national security here and, you know, in the United States. What you see in these images is really happening, and it's important for us to share those stories with one another. Fighting is organized into five discrete chapters. The first chapter, The Struggle, documents Ukrainian military and citizens preparing for the invasion by the Russian military. Mariupol illustrates the effects of the Russian bombardment on ordinary citizens who are caught between two opposing militaries. Flight documents the lives of Ukrainian citizens as they attempt to find safety either in Ukraine or in other parts of the world. Life and loss during war illustrates the ways in which Ukrainian citizens have learned to live with the war despite the fear of Russian bombardments and troop encroachments. The last chapter of the exhibition is titled Hope and it shows the incredible resilience of the Ukrainian people to find joy even amongst some of the most destructive and terrifying moments of their lives. The exhibit is a structured in a very intentional way. You kind of live through all these emotions, you know, of despair, of fear, disbelief. At some point, acceptance that this is what it is now 
and you have to live with it. And then, you know, just glimpses of hope. What this particular exhibit does, it tells a story. It's 255 moments of life of real people. You don't scroll through that. You live through that. Ukraine united our community here. And I think that was invaluable for everyone. Everyone needed that post-pandemic, post the divisions. And I really, really want Ukraine to continue uniting us because we have a lot of things to be inspired by. One of the incredible things that art provides and one thing that PhotoFest works and strives towards is creating the occasion for people from all different backgrounds to meet and talk and discuss the things that are prescient, things that are perhaps dangerous to talk about in other settings or difficult to talk with family and friends. We hope that our audience and the general public can find PhotoFest a safe place to discuss what is an incredibly difficult subject. The gallery is a transformational space. Seeing art and photography creates the occasion to have your beliefs and perspectives challenged. It can also inspire us to create or be creative. And also it can show us the world around us, connecting us with people and places that previously we thought we had no connection to. I hope that people take away a sense of compassion, a sense of urgency, and a sense of respect for the Ukrainian people, for the incredible resilience that they've shown to the rest of the world. We knew that it was important to show this work, that it was not being seen, that the images were fleeting on television and media, and that it was important to have these images represented in a gallery. I hope that you will take it all in and recognize its strength and power and invite your friends to please come. I thank you very much for being here tonight to share this moment with us. Thank you. Thank you.